What's up YouTube, JL Folks here, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about a pretty controversial subject in the guitar community, and that is Relic Guitars. If you've never heard of Relic Guitars, basically they're guitars that are brand new that are made to look older. So some of you may be wondering, why make a new guitar look old? And that's because vintage guitars could be tens of thousands of dollars, they could be super expensive, and also there's a lot of maintenance that goes into vintage guitars. They're parts become very corroded and cheap and start to break and just having a new guitar that looks old with new parts could be a big game changer for some people. One of the most iconic guitars of all time is Stevie Ray Vaughan's number one Stratocaster. I remember the first time I saw this guitar I fell in love with it. Just like so many people out there this guitar is considered to be one of the holy grails of Stratocasters. The SRV Strat has been reproduced so many times and there's so many great replicas out there that have some of the exact same things that the original guitar has, even the slightest little dings on it and scratches. For someone that is a big Stevie Ray Vaughan fan, that would be an awesome guitar to own just because that is the holy grail of Stratocasters and it's a replica of the real thing which nobody can own. That guitar is actually in a museum. Now I've never been a huge fan of Relic guitars. I have several guitars that I've played a ton of gigs with that are starting to get some road wear on them. My J45, I've never cleaned the guitar, so I leave all the blood, sweat, and tears on it. I think that's a really cool feature, and eventually this guitar is going to look much older and much more vintage looking as the years go by. Also my Heritage H535 is starting to get some road wear on it too. The bridge is starting to tarnish a little bit from my hand and a bunch of other things. I also have a 1982 Fender Stratocaster that has some road wear on it as well and that's because the guitar is from 1982 and that technically is pretty much a vintage guitar by now. Now when Heritage Guitars called me up to come check out their Artisan Age series I was a little skeptical at first because I was like, ah, eh, Relic Guitars, I'm not a big fan of them. But then I saw them in person and I gotta say I was really blown away. And I think the reason why I was really sold on them was because they were a light relic. They weren't a very heavy relic. And it didn't look cheesy. It looked like it was naturally worn, but all the parts were new. And that was one thing I really liked about the Artisan Age series, and I still do. So basically, I wasn't a fan of relic guitars until I got my Heritage H150, the Artisan Age series, and I was just truly blown away by it. Every time I played this thing, I'm just blown away by the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it plays. It's just an awesome guitar. It's slightly relict. The paint is uh, starting to check a little bit, which is pretty awesome. And it just feels worn in, which is something I really like. And all the parts are new. Now if I had a guitar that was from the 60s or 70s that was worn like this guitar, it would be starting to fall apart. There would be a lot of issues that would have to get fixed and a lot of money put into it. But all of these parts are brand new, and the neck feels very worn in, which is something I really dig about this guitar. It's just a very at-home feeling guitar, and it sounds and plays and looks amazing. So here's a photo of my good friend Pete Farmer holding my Heritage H150 before it went through the aging process. Now this is the regular standard Dirty Lemon finish that you can get as well, which looks amazing and stunning. It's an awesome guitar just like that. But after it went through the aging process, it definitely gave it more character, I thought, in my own opinion. I have another H150 that has a glossy finish like that, and I love that guitar as well. But the Artisan Age version of that guitar is very cool because it gives it a little more character and just an awesome guitar to have in the collection. So I've never been a big fan of Relic guitars until I got that Heritage H150. and. I still am not a big fan of some of the heavy relic guitars out there and some of the people that do their own relics. Sometimes they can come out good if they know what they're doing. Sometimes they can look really cheesy. I definitely recommend the Artisan Age series to anyone out there that is digging on heritage guitars. They're totally awesome. I mean, these guitars are made by guys that totally understand like how to relic guitars properly. So here is my Heritage H150 Artisan Age in the Dirty Lemon Burst.